assistance for the ritual. Blessings and peace brothers. Beloved brothers, today we are gathered for the celebration of the ritual of humility and the supper of our Lord, the Passover. It is a great privilege to be able today to still have some peace and freedom to be able to do so. So let us thank the Eternal for His great mercy. The ritual of humility and foot washing, we will now go to John 13 verses 3 to 17. Let us read, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into His hands, and that He had come from God, and was going to God, He arose from supper, and took off His garment, and took a towel, and girded Himself. Then He put water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel with which He was girded. Then came He to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto Him, Lord, dost Thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus saith unto him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, for he is all clean, and ye are clean but ye are not all clean. For he knew who would betray him, therefore he said, Ye are not all clean. So when he had washed their feet, and had taken his robe, he sat down again, and said unto them, Know ye what I have done unto you? Ye call me teacher, and Lord, and ye say well, because I am. For if I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither is he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Having read, heard and understood such a ritual and its mandate, let us all go on, then, to participate in it. How shall we do it? You can participate as married couples, gentlemen with gentlemen, ladies with ladies, never boyfriends or single men with single ladies, women with single men or boyfriends. It cannot be done. Thus we will respect the rules of the eternal. Single people are exempted from this ritual, because they do not have someone of their gender, man or woman to share it with. This last, exempted because they are alone, will remain in prayer and singing before the eternal. In this solemn moment, remembering the moment when the Eternal instituted the ritual of humility of great value for His people. Those who are able to participate, group or family, when this ritual of humility is over, go to your seats in thanksgiving and singing until all are finished. We will now continue part 2, the Lord's Supper, since those who were able to participate in the ritual of humility, as instituted by our Lord Jesus before He was handed over to death on the cross, we are ready to participate in the supper which He Himself also instituted. He taught it and He showed it, making His disciples participants at that time, and He with them, like this He established it as a memorial of His great sacrifice for us, His people, until He comes for His own. Those in charge of distributing the bread, do it now. Now let us read 1 Corinthians 11 verses 23-24 For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, how that the Lord Jesus took bread in the night when he was betrayed, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Now then, beloved brothers, let us take the bread, symbol of the bruised and scourged and pierced body of our Lord Jesus Christ for each one of us, that in His sacrifice He might grant us, if we accept it, salvation. Let us pray for the bread, beloved Lord who art in heaven. We thank You for the sacrifice of Your Son, because He came to this planet and suffered and lived a perfect life and through His perfect life, we now have hope, Lord, that we can by faith, trust in the merits of Him and all the additional blessings that He wants to give us. We are thankful for everything. In Jesus' name, Amen. If we so accept, let us eat. Now, those in charge of distributing the unfermented juice of fresh juice, whole, can distribute it to the participants. 
Let us read 1 Corinthians 11 verse 25 And he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. Now therefore, brothers, let us drink this cup, which is a symbol of the blood shed on the cross of Calvary for each one of us, that by it we might be saved in him. If we thus accept him in faith and follow in his footsteps to the end, we shall be victorious in him. Let us pray then. Beloved Lord, who art in heaven again we come into thy presence with great gratitude and great respect, for this wine represents the precious blood of our beloved Lord Jesus. We long for this blood Lord to cover us, to cover us completely, so that no trace of sin, of iniquity, of wickedness remains in us, and so that we may, Lord, one day see you face to face. Thank you Lord for everything, in the merits of Jesus. Amen. If so we accept it with all our heart, let us drink. Good brothers, we will now read 1 Corinthians 11 verse 26 For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Like this, by the commandment of the Eternal, we keep His Passover once a year, all the people on the broad face of the earth, with one accord, and during the year each family and each camp individually, as it is planned. Always before taking the Lord's Supper, we must go through the process of reconciliation with God and with our brothers, in order to be accepted by Jesus Christ and not be guilty of judgment. Let us read what 1 Corinthians 11 verses 27 to 30 tells us. 27 Therefore whosoever eateth this bread, or drinketh the cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. 28 Let every man therefore examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread, and drink of the cup. 29 For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh judgment to himself, not discerning the body of the Lord. 30 For this cause there are many weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For this reason the days of preparation before the Eternal are important, to bring us into account with Him, and the supper of reconciliation between families and camps, to bring us into account with one another, so that we may be accepted in Him. Having like this concluded this wonderful ritual established and ordained by our loving Saviour, Christ Jesus, let us sing with joy Him 481, and then we will have the final prayer. Let us pray then brothers, again beloved Father, we are before your presence, grateful for this beautiful and precious rite that reminds us of the precious life and wonderful sacrifice of our Lord Jesus. Lord, you have established this in remembrance of the process by which we may be able to get into account with you. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege. We are joyful and happy, Lord, and we hope to live the rest of the year in continual communion with you, so that very soon we may develop a character completely pleasing to you. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name, Amen.